Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play King of Dragon Pass. My name is Marlo, and I have to apologize again since I haven't posted a video in a while. I've had a lot of deadlines at work uh, lately, uh, things that are due, and I've got some more coming up. So, you know, maybe a little sporadic here uh, for the next couple of weeks. But uh, we are going to continue this series. To be perfectly honest with you, I'm not certain that it's possible for us to win this game uh, for a variety of reasons. Number one, things just aren't going very well for us. Uh, number two, our leader uh, is quite old, and that's that's not good. Uh, you really, really want to have a younger leader. That's why I started out with that younger guy at first, even though... Um, you know, even though it didn't, his leadership wasn't as good as, as the leader that we have now. So, all right, so we're at the beginning of a new year. Let's carry on and see how this goes. Uh, we have eight points of magic to distribute. Uh, our forecast is that uh, a more or less normal harvest, that's fine. We tend to grow lots of food for some odd reason. I don't really know why. Our market will be unprofitable this year. So, that's nice. Uh, let's put two into crops, one into herds, uh, one into war, uh, one into diplomacy, one into mysteries, yeah, and we'll leave two in reserve. Okay, so let's look at our clan ring here for a second. Yeah, see, here's the... Oh my, you got old. Um, yeah, here's the problem, is that our leader is 69, which means he could drop dead at any moment. Now, you know, we really need to have a leader of our main god, which is Orlanth, which this 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 guy is. She worships Arnalda, uh, so it wouldn't be as good. Our next best person who worships Orlanth... Uh, is this guy uh, for our leader, and his leadership is only good. Good isn't really that good. It's not really that good. Good is 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 actually one of the lower, uh, one of the lower ratings. Um, so yeah, we just kind of got unlucky on our um, on our clan uh, nobles and now somebody else could reappear like if somebody if a child if a child becomes an adult and uh, you know that you know somebody else could appear so hopefully that's what will happen that's I mean more or less what we're gonna have to hope for all right now let us explore our Tula we'll take three weapon things with us and we'll travel slowly go oh and we were attacked Kill as many as possible. Uh, more outlaws came to help their comrades from where they'd been hiding in the rocks. They fired a volley of sling stones, surprising and hurting us. Uh, they wounded her and her escort. Well, that's nice. What a great way to start the year. Boy, I can't remember the last time. Uh-oh. Uh, in, in Garna, a member of the Turtle Clan ring comes to seek your help. A terrible creature has been stalking our Tula, attacking our cattle. It looks like a giant octopus man thing. It's pretty terrible. Uh, that none of our children have been taken is only a matter of luck. Our clan sages say that he's called a walk walktopus and is a creature of chaos. Many of our weapon things were injured during a recent raid by the Buscovi, so we need help in hunting and slaying this dread beast. They definitely need help, and they've been willing to help us when we need it. So in other words, we should help them. Refusing to help our own allies? That sounds like Bad King Urgrain. You don't want to do things that Bad King Urgrain did. Basic game rule for this game. If someone tells you that Bad King... Excuse me. Oh, okay, sorry. thought I heard something. Uh, one of my pets scratching at the door. Um, yeah, if one of your advisors tells you that Bad King Urgrain did something, you should do the opposite of that thing, as a general rule. Um... All right, they're a prosperous clan. They have gathered many interesting treasures. She's wounded, of course, just in time for a weapon thane oriented uh, random event. Our fighters will be proud to defeat a thing of chaos. If we defeat the Walk to us in the name of Urox, our clan magic will get stronger. 
Uh, that's probably true. Send me to lead the party. I will tickle the walk on this under its many arms. Okay, let's do it in honor of Yurox. Oh, Chaos. Who shall lead us? 43, she's renowned at combat. We choose her. And we will send... All our weapon things, because it's sea season, so I'm not really worried about anybody, uh... Attacking us right now. They found the Woktopus hiding under some fallen trees. It made a weird screeching sound that burst through the log's rotten wood, hurling itself at the hunting party. Our warriors fell upon it, hacking furiously. We cut it to bits. Then Turtle Sages carefully burned each of the pieces, saying that the creatures were thought to be able to regrow themselves. The sages made sure that no one breathed in the oily smoke from the burning creature's meat. Our god talker said that Eurox would uh, be pleased by this action undertaken in his name. The turtle clan was also quite pleased, needless to say. Oh, look! We now have ten magic points, so we got eight points for that. That is excellent. That's, that's really, really, really good. Okay, so it's sea season now. Uh, do we need more weapon? No, we've got all we can have. Okay. Um... Yeah, we... We probably ought to sacrifice to Orlanth. There are further things that we could learn from him. Um, particularly the Woad ritual would be good. Uh, hey, we learned it! Awesome! Two, we have too few farmers to care for our herds and fields properly. I don't think that's actually true. They say that a lot, but if we go and look... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, we have 321... Uh, oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Um, it's this screen. We should try to stock up on more food. They always say that in sea season because you just, you know, you just survive the winter, so you don't have as much food as you normally have. Um, yeah, we do need more horses, that is true. Um, our food situation is okay. We need 250 farmers and 200 oxen. Yeah, I think we've got enough. I think we're fine. Um, wait, how, what do you I'm trying to see her stats. Okay, there we go. Sorry, that's hard to do. Her plant knowledge is good. I, it, it's hard to do. You're supposed to double click on them, but it doesn't always work. So, sorry about that. Um, anyway, I think we're fine. But what we should do is try to get some more horses. So, we're going to try to go to the rocks. Donnie. Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Rockstani. We're going to send five weapon thanes and nine footmen. We're going to go large, and we're going to try to buy horses, and we're going to sell goods. And, of course... We just got ready. Okay, it's time to use a couple magic points. Let's use the bagpipes. No, it doesn't help us. It only works on Trollkin. Okay, never mind about that. Um, let's sacrifice to Cot. We're uh, outnumbered, so let's maneuver and try to drive them off. The Lanisi charged into the trap we had laid for them. That's a good sign. Randan strikes down an enemy warrior, then another, then feels the wind of a Lanisi arrow dry the sweat on his cheek. He has become the target of several Lanisi warriors. What should Randan do? Uh, don't try to be a hero. Lead our warriors to victory. Randan uh, led from the front of each charge. The Lanisi cursed when they saw him coming towards them, but could not match him blade to blade. That is because he's really good at combat. Yeah, very good. Uh, and he follows, that cross means he follows Humkat, which is the god of death and war and things like that. So, you know, we had a good, fairly good chance of that working out. Uh, we captured four horses. All right. And we had a couple people killed and a couple people wounded, but by and large, that could have been a lot worse. Um, okay. 
let's go on a cattle raid ourselves. We don't have a lot of weapon things right now. Oh. All right. We have 19 horses now. Awesome. And the children have grown beards. We'll wait for them to fall out. And it's Earth season. We didn't get to raid. Oh, well. Uh, we can have 19 weapon things. Let's do it. Okay. Brenna, a young unmarried woman of your clan, sees a terrible omen as she is sitting doing the needlework. The shadow, apparently she's sitting in the dirt in the middle of the ground doing needlework. Why? I don't know. I believe these people have chairs. Uh, as she, yeah. The shadow of a bird passes over her. When the people hear this, they are very troubled. This omen means that some grave disaster looms. It might mean death or illness for the girl or one of her kinfolk, or trouble for the entire clan. Alright. Once everyone is worried about an omen, they have a way of coming true. Reassurance is most, is most needed here. Uh, there's, there's a fair amount of truth to that. Birds are bad because they were sacred to Orlon's enemy, Yom the Emperor. We can call on kin, even distant kin, in a case like this. Uh, you're still wounded. We're doomed, but there's nothing we can do. This is a very evil omen, but our clan magic is strong. Brenna may not be harmed. What's all the fuss over? Do nothing. So... We're strong enough to face any misfortune. Uh, sacrifice to the gods for the luck. We could do that. I don't really want to do that. Let's say we're strong enough to face any misfortune. The people were reassured. Alright. So let's get our patrols going. Uh, obviously we're not going to be doing any, um, and see our wounded people are, have recovered already, that's excellent. Now, I am actually a little worried about farmers. Let's see, yeah, we're short of farmers, I get it. I think that that's probably actually true, but what we can do is reduce the number of hunters that we have, and that will increase our farmers. Um, so that should help that problem, um, at least for the time being. We have more children than we have farmers, which is not a situation that you generally like to be in. We're not too bad off right now, because the numbers, as you can see, uh, are fairly close. And uh, as long as they're fairly close, I mean, ideally you want to have more farmers than you have children. You know, but, because uh, these are people you have to feed, but but they don't contribute anything. They don't farm, they don't craft, they don't do anything. So, yeah. Uh, you just It's better if you have more farmers than children. But, you know, since our farmers aren't too... You know, the numbers aren't too high above the farmers, we're okay for now. Um, but, it's, uh, it's just something we have to keep an eye on. There's not a lot you can do about it. It's kind of the problem. Um, but our clan mood has improved. It, you, things used to be pretty ugly, and they've got a little bit better, at least for this year. So, yeah, so that's nice. Um, okay, these shrines support one permanent blessing. Um, yeah, we can't afford to build another one right now, so. Dark season is a good season for hero questing, but I don't think we're really ready to do that. Oops. I don't think we're really ready to do that yet. Um, let's see what we know of this one. Yeah, we know next to nothing. Now, I happen to know it. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I happen to know that one, and that's an important one for uh, winning the game reasons right here. Uh, this is a hero quest, which I'll explain when we get to that point. We're not there yet. Uh, and I don't know if this clan's ever going to be that to that point. It's, uh, you know, we're... We're not, we're not, we're not doing great at the moment. So, uh, is there anything that we really should be doing right now? I don't think there is. Okay, if you get in a situation where you need to make time pass, but you, you know, usually time passes when you take an action, when you make adjustments to what your people are doing, you know, when you do a random event, when you go on a raid, stuff like that. But if you need to make time pass and you don't, and you know, because you don't really need to do anything or don't want to do anything, you just hit this button right here, and it will go uh, on to the next uh, turn, essentially. All right.
Uh, four little boys whose hair stayed on their faces. This is the beard thing again. Uh, yeah. It went away. Okay. Sora Goodseller, a traitor priestess of the talking god Isaris, comes to offer you what she says is a great treasure. The treasure is Arnaldo's oven. Bread cooked in the oven requires one twentieth less grain than ordinary bread. Sora expects you to name a price. Let's see what people say. Okay, he's not good at bargaining. If we needed less grain for each loaf, we could recover an investment of 40 cows in 40 years. Something to be said for that. It's about time we did something to lessen women's work around here. Okay. Actually, according to the legend, this oven was not made by Arnalda, but by her great priestess, Ornore Crustmaker. Although it would be splendid to own such an item, you can never really trust an Asari's trader. That's true. Sora does us a favor by making this offer. Even if we cannot afford her goods, we must honor her. That's also true. What difference could an oven make? Ah! See, the problem is that our treasure is the, uh, the troll fighting thing, which we need because that's kind of our clan enemy, is the troll fighting thing. So, I'm not sure I want to give that away, because when the trolls attack, it's bad, and it's good to have that. So I think we're going to politely decline and give her hospitality. So I was kind enough to set up the oven and bake us some bread from it. It was delightful to, uh, its delightful taste made us even sadder not to own it. Whoa, bummer. Okay, it is storm season. I'm going to try to go on a cattle raid because we missed our chance earlier. Um, stag hearts are the weakest in the nearby clans. I don't even see them over here. Let's not forget we still have fuse, it's true. Since too many warriors will be spotted. Alright. Um, let's go with... Boscovi, we're just gonna send a few people because it's a cattle raid. Go away, and oh, it didn't work. Okay, we have two few farmers. I don't think that's true. Okay, Donoral, a thane of the Fire Quartz clan, comes to you, uh, seeking to hire your Kadi warriors as mercenaries. You have a temple to the Death God, and may and many vaunted warriors who venerate him with their swords. We wish to employ them, directing their holy wrath at the elders of the Brown Boar clan. Raided us every fire season for the past three years, and we wish to show them that we can no longer be tribal to them. We will give you five cows for each member of the Brown Boar out of range that your Hukati fighters wound or slay. Ooh! 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 Okay. Um. Let's see. Neither clan is especially friendly or especially hostile to us. It matters not to me what we do. As Ronaldo said, when Uralda led the four-legged people into the steads of the two-legged people, uh, cows will never be unwelcome here. Uh, we can get more from them. Okay. The Brown Boar clan are stronger than we are. We should not attack now. Uh, there is some wisdom in that. Uh, the Brown Boars are notoriously litigious. They might make a claim against us if we do if we do this, even if the precedents are against them. Every clan has, uh, has, in addition to its formal ring, an informal outer ring made up of 20 or so wise folk. Is these people are Hukati while warriors are meant to wound. Many elders of the Fire Force uh, can read, so we should support them. Okay. Um. Huh. turn them down. I think I'm going to trust the wisdom of my uh, renowned combat lady here, and uh, she says we shouldn't do it. There's probably a reason for that, uh, so let's not do it. They were disappointed but said we were within our rights to refuse. That's true. We are within our rights to refuse. Okay, let's try another cattle raid. Who should we go? Stag hearths. Okay, let's try the stag horse. That's who they keep saying. Uh, okay, we'll try the stag horse. Cattle raid! And they caught us. That's fantastic. Uh, let's evade and plunder. Uh, okay. Nothing, nothing happened there. And we're being raided by the Muscovy. Fortunately, we... 
All right, let's maneuver and drive them off. Uh, they left without plundering Artula. With their careful attention, our auxiliaries kept two warriors from dying and healed the wounded. Meanwhile, we did some damage to them, uh, so that's not bad. Okay, that was not a bad year, uh, especially given how things have been going. All right, 27 babies were born. We initiated 20 children as adults. Uh, the clan has nine fewer people, one fewer head of cattle, uh, 24 more horses, and 35 more sheep. We produced more food than we needed. Uh, we produced goods, but our market was crappy because uh, of the prophecy there. So hopefully your prophecy will be different. I like having a lot of goods in this game. I find it to be very useful. Um, man, really? Oh. Okay. Two into crops. One into herds. Two into war this time, because we have some extra magic to play around with. One into trade. Uh, one into mysteries. And one into diploma. Uh, diploma. Ha! Huh! That's funny. Uh, one into diplomacy. And we will proceed, leaving eight points in reserve. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, well, that's not good. Okay, Orldag and Dangmag died of old age. Their kin smeared their death runes on their faces and wept all night. Dangmag was our clan leader. So, that means we're going to spend the... Uh, yeah, nothing has happened with the girl who saw the bird's shadow pass over her. Uh, okay. We need to reorganize the clan ring because we need a new leader. Our clan leader died. Oh, joy. We have... What are you on there for? Bargaining? Do we have anybody better than you? No. Um... Um, okay, so here's the dilemma, folks. Um, it's really better. You remember, you know, we chose Orlanth as our main, as our clan's primary god. It's generally better if you have a leader who worships your primary god. Um, that being said, his leadership skills are pretty bad. Um... None of his stats... I can't move the mouse. If I move the mouse, all of his stats will go. But if you look at the right-hand side of the screen, none of his stats are very good at all. Um, yeah, not good. Not good. These three people are already on our clan ring. If we pick her, number one, she doesn't worship Orlanth. Number two, we already have an Arnaldo worshiper on our clan ring. Um... So that's not good. Uh, okay. Leadership is fair. Okay. Alright, well, I think we're going to have to go with this guy, and this is probably where things are going to start getting ugly. Okay, your Carl's find seven of your horses with their throats cut. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Uh, let's conduct a divination. That's generally the thing to do here. The Boscovi. Let's lodge a legal claim against them. Against the Boscovi. Uh, yeah, they were lying. Yeah, they're always lying about that. Okay. Fortunately, we had some extra horses, uh, so we still have our 19 uh, things, uh, weapon things, so that's good. Um, let's sacrifice to Orlanth. We really ought to learn some details of the Storm Tribe uh, story, which is what we will be trying to reenact uh, when we do a hero quest, which I will explain later if we ever get to that point. Alright, we learned some of the mysteries of making the Storm Tribe. Okay, great. Uh, okay. 
excuse me. All right, Gareth, the, a thane of the Staghearth clan, comes to ask you to make good on the favor you owe to his people. We ask that you uh, that you gift us with 20 cows in return for considerations we have given your clan in the past, uh, and in recognition of the goodwill between us. Okay. Um. There's a customary number of cows one should ask for in a situation like this. It's somewhere between 15 and 25. So he recommends give them what he wants. Uh, we can afford to give him what he wants. We can give him more. Uh, we will give uh, gain reputation for generosity, which will help us politically. That is true, and I may do that. Uh, they have many well-equipped warriors. If we win their favor, they will help us in our raids. Uh, help us raid our foes. Customarily, the obligation we owe them is worth 20 cows. Uh, they owed us a favor. Uh, the children of the Staghearths are all taught to read. We should honor that. What, what is it with this guy in reading? I don't quite understand that. Okay, let's give him more than he wants. We're going to give him... 27 cows. Gareth praised our generosity and said that all Dragon Pass will hear our Carls will displeased with us. Yeah, blah blah blah. But it's better to make the Carls, you know, a little upset with us and have a better reputation in Dragon Pass uh, than to do that. So, you know, um, I think that is probably probably well worth the uh, the slight frustration that our folks might feel. Okay, let's go on a cattle raid. I like having cows. All right, who should we raid? The Muscovy. They are the ones who took our, who killed our horses. Let's cattle raid them. And let's maneuver and plunder. You know what? Let's use a magic point. And we, that didn't work. Okay. The Black Rocks would probably give us silver if we sent an emissary to collect the favor they owe us. Probably they would. Um, but that's okay. Um... Okay, so that didn't go so well. Let's see if we can cattle raid them again. Because I don't learn. Oh, yes! We managed to sneak around their patrols and bring home 33 cows and 23 sheep without meeting any trouble. That's awesome. Uh, the, uh, Broyan, a prosperous herdsman of the Turtle Clan, uh, has come to an, uh, as an emissary from his clan leaders. He has gifts for you. He says there were 17 cows altogether. Okay, sorry, is this some, is this a trick, uh, question of some kind? Take the gifts. Um, take the gifts and trade for more cattle. If we feasted them, we would bring cheer to our own people's hearts. The turtles aren't a strong clan, but they are our allies, and we should treat them with respect. Uh, it would be generous to give them a reciprocal gift. Uh... Uh, bad king or grain, in other words, don't do whatever that says. We can use this gift to expand our length or my magic. Um, let's let's give them a reciprocal gift. He said we were very generous, and he would say so to others. And the beard thing again. Let's do nothing. So now it's Earth season, and we probably won't be raided, which is wonderful, 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 wonderful that we have gained this many cows. Um. Gosh, I wish we didn't have this guy as a leader. Um, okay. We can get him killed off. Um. What should we do? Let's explore our Tula. With a little bit more force this time. We're gonna leave the weapon things at home because. Um, and you can explore some of these other areas. Uh, and there are things out here to find. But I haven't done. I haven't done it. Because, you know, things have not been going well for us. Um, but, but it is possible to do that, and you probably should do it uh, at certain points in the game. But, you know. Alright, so let's explore our own Tula. We didn't find anything. Uh, we have too few farmers. That is not true. Okay. Yep, I had a feeling this was going to happen when we got old Buckwheat down here to be our uh, chief. Uh, yeah. So, 
Let's see what we have here. A number of the clan's leading women approach the ring again. Their leader ha uh, has another list of complaints. With Baron Wolf still as chief, Garna Neva says, This clan is headed downhill. Our friends the turtles tell jokes about us as part of their holy day ceremonies. The Boscovi send curses that rot our meat and give our children nightmares. At home, things are no better. He sings off key. It's time we had a new chief. Okay. Carls are certainly not happy these days. Garna Neva is acting on behalf of someone. At least we won our last battle. Baron Wolf's luck has not deserted him. Uh, let's, yeah. Hey, that's true. Baron Wolf patiently addressed each of their complaints. He exposed each one as an exaggeration or misunderstanding until even Garna Neva reaffirmed her allegiance to Baron Wolf as the clan's chosen leader. Now, uh, sometimes when that happens, that means that your leadership skill goes up. And that did not happen with him so all right excellent all right so what i was telling you before is that because we learned some mysteries of the uh storm tribe legend and i keep clicking on that button it's this button uh you'll see that that little dot has now appeared that little dot wasn't there before so we know the details of the myth uh which means Okay. So this is what we this is what we knew before. This is what we know now. Uh, as you can see, and, and reading through all this, if you're playing the game yourself, is important. We're not going to do it right now, but we now know a lot of this stuff. Um, you know that we that we didn't know, and that's going to be useful for us when we do a hero quest. When you do a hero quest, what you're doing is you're sending one of your people into the realm of the gods to reenact history um, of you know what happened in your world's past, and that can have various benefits. Now, the reason I keep talking about that one specific myth. Uh, the making of the storm tribe is that's the one that you have to do in order to form a tribe. And remember, we have to form a tribe in order to win the blasted game, assuming we can ever get to that point. Let's see if anybody else has emerged that's better at leadership. Absolutely not. Excellent. All right, folks. Well, we've hit about the 30-minute mark, so I'm going to cut the video here. I hope you're doing well and continue to do well, and I'll catch you in the next one, which will hopefully be soon. Uh, be patient with me, folks. I appreciate it.